Hello and welcome to more nerdy rodent geekery. Today I am having a little look at this repository over on GitHub. Why? Because it contains code for the paper Audio Reactive Latent Interpolations with StyleGAN. And there is a little link, wavefunk.xyz, there as well. So if we scroll down, we can see some of the bits and pieces that are in here. And the thing I'm concentrating on is this generate audio visual.py with a description there used to generate audio reactive interpolations. Great stuff. Now, if we scroll down, we can see installation. Just have to do the usual git clone, change directory. And then there is an environment file there as well. So you can just conda env create with that env.yml. Now, as always, I am using this Ampere card, one of the new RTX 3000 series from NVIDIA. And uh, unfortunately, that YML includes CUDA Toolkit 10, so I have to upgrade it to 11. So, Conda install PyTorch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio, CUDA Toolkit equals 11.0 minus C PyTorch. And you can see there from the PyTorch website various different ways to install the CUDA toolkits. So, there, I'm using 11. Or if you want to do it with pip as well, that is absolutely fine. So that's almost everything. Um, there is also this optional bit here as well for converting the weight uh, from TensorFlow to PyTorch, as this is a PyTorch repository. So for that, I'm using NVIDIA TensorFlow because that also supports the Ampere cards. Um, I'm using the a previous revision, actually 2011, 2012 is out now, but 2011 works just fine. So that will give you your new environment, your uh, PyTorch and TensorFlow, and then you are ready to do various bits and pieces. Now, if you have uh, a, a StarGAN model that you want to convert to PyTorch, it's uh, one of the TensorFlow ones you've got, you'll also need this repository as well, because uh, the, the convert weight doesn't work in that one. So you want StarGAN to PyTorch Rosenality and that has convert weight in there that works. So if you want to do a little bit of conversion, let's throw that in there. So here I am in the Rosenality PyTorch and convert weights there. So I've got my StarGAN2 ADA uh, downloaded in the, the one directory up. So I'm just linking to that. And uh, the particular pickle I want to convert, well, let's, let's have a look. So I've got training runs in there. And I've got a variety of pickles. So uh, there's a face paintings one there. So let's pick that one. And the network snapshot of 168. There we go. Okay. So run that, and that will convert from the uh, the TensorFlow weights over to PyTorch. If you have a little look in the directory here, there's a, there's one I've done previously as well. There you get a, a little PNG, and then eventually it will create the network snapshot there. Dot PT which you can use along with your audio file. Okay, so we'll give that a few seconds and that will convert there in the background. You will of course need an audio file as well. So if you've got an MP3, you could use FFmpeg uh, or any other number of tools really just to change it into a WAV. Uh, I've saved it here as audio WAV because I like file names. Anyway, uh, I have also chosen 1024 by 1024 resolution because it makes it really easy to run the commands. You can scroll down here, you see here. So Python generate audio visual and just need the checkpoint and the audio file. There is also a Jupyter notebook you can use if you want to do that. Now there are also these uh, default settings, which aren't great, but they, they look okay, they look fine. Uh, and you can customize the generated interpolation there with your own functions. So yes, have a, have a little look through that. And uh, yeah, you can do some network bending and all sorts of things like that. Now, there are also a number of other arguments that you can pass to this generate audio visual. Uh, particularly useful, for example, if you're using one that isn't uh, 1024 by 1024. Uh, so for example, 512 by 512, You'll need to pass the generator resolution through there as well. I've also done the out size as 512. Um, you might also like some of these other options in here as well, uh, like randomized noise, for example, is quite a good one. And uh, you may need to vary the batch size depending on the amount of VRAM on your GPU. The default is eight, uh, but uh, you can go a little bit higher than that if you have more VRAM. Anyway, so let's run this and actually get some output. So. I'll copy this in here. There we go. So audio file, I already have my audio file there as audio.wav and the checkpoint, we will copy this checkpoint. So that was the one just now. So network snapshot. Yep. There we go. 
So there's the PT version of the TensorFlow Weight Pickle. And then you just run it and away it goes. So I will modify time slightly while this runs as it, uh, as it will take a couple of minutes. Awesome stuff. So that's done its thing. If we have a look over here in the output directory, we should have our video. So there we go. A little look at that. There we go. Awesome stuff. All right. So I'll just show you the whole thing in full now. But uh, yes, do enjoy. There is the Stargan 2 with audio reactive latent interpolations. Rotent out.